Okay, hey guys, this one says to describe the motion of the sprinter between three and seven seconds. So here's my three seconds, here's my seven seconds. We can see it's a flat line, okay? So what does that mean? It's a velocity time graph. So I can see the velocity here is eight. It stays eight, it stays eight, it stays eight, it stays eight, it stays eight. So velocity always stays at eight. That means it's traveling at a constant speed or constant velocity of eight meters per second, right? It's not changing, it's always staying at that number. If three seconds is eight, if four seconds is eight, if five seconds is eight. Next one says calculate the acceleration in the first three seconds. So in the first three seconds, we can see this accelerating, right? As velocity is increasing, increasing, increasing. I think in a velocity time graph, how do I get the acceleration? The acceleration is known as the gradient of the line. To calculate the gradient of the line, we do the change in the height. So we're going to do the change in y, so it's my y-axis, change in y, divided by the change in x, the change in the x-axis. Remember, triangle is like a fast way in physics to write change, because we're lazy, right? So the change in y is it goes from 0 to 8. So it goes up by 8 over a distance, or a horizontal, sorry, over a time of 3 seconds. There's 1, 2, 3. So what we're doing here is we're doing a math of 8 divided by 3, the change in vertical divided by the change in the horizontal. So we do 8 divided by 3 in our calculators, we get a number of 2.6 with a dot on top. Now be careful, if you write 2.6, that is wrong, okay, because it's not 2.6, it's 2.66666, right, it's a recurring number. So what you do is you draw your dotted line, and if the number is above 5, so 5 or greater, you round up. So it's going to be 2.67, or you could have said 2.7, either one will get you full marks. And then acceleration, remember the units is always meters per second squared, okay, don't forget that squared. Okay, so there's one, and this one would have been three marks, so that would have been a four mark question.